And you may be thinking, well, how can I become one of these millionaires or is it really possible for me? And the answer, of course, is yes. It's a lot more boring than winning the lottery because that doesn't really happen. It happens over time. Hi, it's Stuart Robertson, CEO of ShareBuilder 401k. And I'm here to talk to you about money, money, money. And what does it mean to be rich and wealthy in America and what's really going on? If you listen to a lot of media, it's all about this big wealth gap changing. It's all the one percenters, 0.01 percenters, having all this money and the rest of us really out of luck. That's not actually true. Fed Reserve Board does research every three years and the one that came out at the end of 2023 showed that the median American family wealth grew by 37% and actually outpacing the one percenters. So a lot of that wealth growth that was on a percentage basis beating the one percenters was in the middle class and the upper middle class. And here's the thing, these people didn't win the lottery. These people graduated into the upper middle class as families making $150,000 to $250,000 a year, right? But how did they actually grow their wealth? There's two things they did to become millionaires. Number one thing they did, number one wealth driver, is they contributed to the retirement account, their 401k plan. 90% of these people were contributing to their retirement accounts. Their other secret was, which isn't that big of a secret, they bought a home. 87% of them bought a home. These are things you can do. You can use an IRA, or use your 401k plan, get that employer match, contribute 10 to 15% of your salary a year, and over a 30, 40 year career, probably gonna be one of those millionaires in America. Those are the ways you're gonna build assets that grow wealth so that when you hit retirement age, you have the money you want to enjoy that time and take care of those you love. Keep this in perspective. There are 16 million American families that are now millionaires. That's over 12% of all US families. It's really the highest number ever. So it's very doable. You see it happening out there. It may not be on the front page because it doesn't lead the bleed, right? But you can do it. It's steady and true. It won't be there when you're 20. But as you do these things, by the time you hit 65, 67, it's something you too can do. We've got some links below to the Fed Reserve Report if you want to see it. Uh, we also have a link to a Wall Street Journal article on the topic. So it's pretty fascinating stuff. And of course, we have lots of educational materials on how to invest for tomorrow, think smart about it, and make the most of your money. Uh, so we hope you subscribe. Talk to you soon. All the best.